This video introduces how to use the SMD components to make ESC, which is not only small in size, but also light in weight, especially suitable for model airplane. This is the circuit diagram of the ESC. Here the universal board is used as the base board of cut out a small piece with scissors. Just like this. Put the Antony 13 MCU on the base board, and find that the two middle pins on the left and right sides of the chip are short-circuited, so use a knife to dig out the pads in these two places. Then solder the Atony 13 MCU to the base board. Take a 100 ohm chip resistor and connect it to the fifth pin of the Atony 13. The other pin of the resistor is connected to the gate pin of the MOSFET. The source pin and drain pin of the MOSFET are connected with a 10,000 ohm resistor. Use a small piece of wire to let out the drain pin of the MOSFET. The cathode of the Schottky diode is connected to the drain pin of the MOSFET, just like this. A 0.1 microfarad chip capacitor is soldered to this position. Next, connect the GND wires of each component. Use wires to jumper from the back of the universal board, like this. A 10 microfarad capacitor is connected in parallel between VCC and GND of Atony 13. Finally, solder the GND pin of Atony 13, so that the soldering of each component is basically completed. Here, the Arduino board is used as the programmer. In order to download the program to the ESE, multiple jumpers are used to connect the Atony 13 and the Arduino board. The connected jumpers are shown in the figure. Plug in the USB cable to the Arduino programmer and connect it to the PC. This is the C language program of ESC Compile. And download this program to the Atony 13 on ESC. After the download is successful, remove these jumpers. Use these three wires to connect to the receiver. And yellow is the input of PWM wave. Brown is GND. Red is VCC. The red wire is the positive pole of the motor, and the black wire is the negative pole of the motor. Similarly, the positive and negative poles of the power battery are respectively connected to the positive output terminal of the motor and GND. At this point, the soldering of the ESC is all completed. Next, test the ESC. And then connect a small motor to the output terminal of the ESC. Here we use the Arduino development board to build a simple and adjustable PWM source. Adjust the duty cycle of the PWM wave output from the D9 pin of the Arduino by rotating the potentiometer. Insert a 3.7V lithium battery into the battery input terminal of the ESC. The overall test connection looks like this. Plug in the USB cable to the Arduino board. 
Rotate the potentiometer to gradually increase the duty cycle of the PWM wave, and the speed of the small motor will also increase. When the potentiometer is rotated back and forth, the speed of the motor can also change continuously. When the potentiometer is turned back, the duty cycle of the PWM wave gradually decreases, and the speed of the motor also decreases until it stops rotating. Finally, wrap the ESC with a section of heat shrinkable tube to protect it. ESC making is complete. Thank you for watching, and welcome to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.